All right. I'm you Sports, Coach Kent, back in Berlin, and today our special guest, three-time German Bowl champion, Coach Clifford Madison. Coach Madison, how you doing? I'm doing good, man. I'm uh, I'm blessed to be here uh, on this day because you know I'm a God-fearing person, and I think God has has had me on a on a journey that uh, I'm enjoying. Oh, okay. And also, thank you for welcoming uh, for welcoming us into your home. Thanks, thanks for that. No problem. So today we just want to go through your background, um, hear your story, hear your history. You know, starting from the beginning up until now. So you're from Los Angeles. Los Angeles, California. Okay, which part? South Central Los Angeles, the Crenshaw area. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, that's where I grew up basically. Mm -hmm. And so you grew up in the '60s and '70s, I would say. Yes. And so how would you describe 60s, 70s Los Angeles? Well, I tell you what, when I was growing up in the 60s and 70s, it was, it was a pretty uh, challenging uh, time and era uh, because uh, poverty was uh, pretty much uh, there for a lot of families. But what my mother did with us, uh, she taught us to be able to uh, work through adversity uh, you know, it was gang, a lot of gangs uh, in the area where I grew up at. Uh, I lost my baby brother uh, later on in, in the 80s. Uh, so that was a, it was a challenging time for me uh, growing up. But no matter, you know, what the situation was, sports was always a way to divert the mind and, and kind of guide yourself out of that situation. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry to hear about you losing your brother. Thank you. Really sorry to hear that. Um, and so how many siblings did you have? Or do you have? Well, I got I got one brother that's alive. Mm -hmm. uh, he's still living in uh, California. I have two brothers that uh, I lost. My oldest brother, uh, William, and my youngest brother, Demetrius, who was also another. He was a great quarterback. Uh, and they, my younger brother died uh, gang violence. He wasn't in a gang, but he was just at the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah. And uh, he was shot. Uh, and my older brother died in prison. Yeah. I'm sorry. Again, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, you know, this life has its, its course, and yeah. you just have to abide by it and accept it and keep moving on. Yeah. Are your parents also from the L.A. area? My mother's originally from uh, Oklahoma. Okay. Uh, my father, uh, that's that's another story. Uh, you know, I knew my father shortly, uh, but my original father's name was Robert Harrell, uh, and I had I didn't have a chance to meet him, so my mother married again uh, when she was pregnant. Uh, and I took the last name Madison. Okay. Okay. So what was it like growing up in South Central during the 60s and 70s? During the 60s and 70s, uh, there was a lot of uh, gang violence. There was a lot of uh, uh, racial tension. Uh, as you know, uh, you know, during the Martin Luther King area, uh, era, there was uh, you know, discord between blacks and whites and, and the respect level that we're even seeing as today, uh, what's going on. So it's kind of history repeating itself. Right. But me growing up in the 60s and 70s was, a, was a, a, a time when I was trying to, as a young person, as a kid, trying to find my identity with the gift that I had, and that was playing sports. Uh, I didn't know exactly where I wanted to be at with sports, baseball, football, or basketball, but I find myself picking up a football a lot uh, and, and playing just street football as you probably did yourself with the guys, you know, until late midnight throwing the ball around, uh, and, you know, going to school was a challenge because we had older people in our neighborhood, young men that were harassing us. Uh, I remember uh, going to elementary school, and there was a couple of older guys in the neighborhood, and they would want to take our shoes or our, or our jackets, mm -hmm. and we would end up running home uh, telling our parents about that, that those stories, and it was just amazing how we survived that and how many things you you come across and you, you never really realize how fortunate you are to be able to get yourself out of those situations. Right. Did you also lose friends? I lost a lot of friends uh, to gang violence, uh, to prison, uh, to drugs. Uh, and, and that's why I say I'm blessed because I, I was brought in, up in an environment where there was a very small chance for a black kid to be able to make it out of that situation. Uh, after seeing so many of my friends uh, relatives uh, go through that struggle uh, of what we call the ghetto. You know, if you consider that the ghetto at the time, it was really, really uh, hard to to overcome that for a lot of my family and friends mm -hmm. and my loved ones. 
Mm-hmm. So how did you initially get into sports? Well, uh, a friend of mine uh, by the name of Euterby Rogers, he played uh, football at Baldwin Hills Park. And I think I was eight or nine years old. Uh, let me just go back. At seven, at seven years old, we were playing flag football in the school. Okay. Uh, and my team was the Steelers. When we had a little t- tournament going on, mm-hmm. and my team was the Steelers. That's mm-hmm. why I'm a Steelers fan till today. Uh, and that's what originally started me playing. And you know, I, I had good arm strength. I can throw the ball pretty accurate. Uh, and my friend Turby said, "Hey, man, you know, you need to come to Baldwin Hills Park, man. We've got a, a, a youth team there." Uh, that they're looking for players. So I went there, and uh, I tried out for the team, and a coach by the name of Coach Fontenot, he said, hey, man, you, you've got talent. And his son played on the team. His son was a receiver. Mm-hmm. So I went to the tryout. I made the team. Uh, and his son, which was more advanced than I was, said, hey, man, you need to come work out with me. You know, we can really be good and make this team really good. So that's kind of how it evolved to me really getting into playing uh, football and the quarterback position. So I, I, I kind of gravitated around that. And, you know, once I was getting a little bit of praise at a young kid, you know how you get all hyped up and yeah. say, oh, man, I'm going to be the next blah, blah, blah. Right. That kind of, you know, took me to another level of, damn, I am pretty good at throwing the ball. Let me, let me get my game a little bit tighter. Uh, let me uh, work out a little bit more and get my body in shape. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and that's where it all evolved, evolved from. Uh, one guy who was living on my street, we played football on the streets. And he said, man, come with me. And I got involved like that, and it's, that's where it all started. Okay. And so you always only played quarterback, or did you also, did you also play any other position? I played free safety, uh, and I also punted. Uh, in high school, uh, I was in the 10th grade, and our starting free safety went down, so the coach put me in there. Uh, and I kind of liked the position, mm-hmm. but it wasn't my favorite position. And, you know, I played against the likes of – my 10th grade year, the likes of John Elway. Mm-hmm. And that's when it happened. I, I played free safety, and I'm like, wow, this guy can throw the ball. And I realized that, nah, I'm not a safety. But I, <laughs> I could play the position, but I'm not that guy because he was tearing me up back there. Right. So did you also play any other sports? I played baseball. Uh, I played a year of baseball at Crenshaw High School. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, a friend of mine, uh, Reggie Domley, he no longer lives, he saw me throwing the football, and he said, man, you, know, you need to come out and play baseball. And I, and I tried pitching. I was a little bit too wild with the ball. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, another good friend of mine, Daryl Strawberry. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I remember him. Did he play for the White Sox? No, he played for the Mets. Okay. And he played for the Mets. He played for the Yankees. played for the Dodgers. Okay. Uh, he was also uh, on that team uh, that I played for. Uh, and and Daryl was a, a great athlete, Chris Brown. Uh, just to name a few guys that, that I went to school with that played mm-hmm. uh, baseball who made it to the big time. Right. Uh, but, I, but I found myself liking the sport but not loving it. So I kind of committed my time to playing football. Okay. So, all right. So that's how you chose football. Yes. 